All right, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2023 Mount Elementary D.A.R.E. graduation. I'd like to start off by thanking the city of Miamisburg, the Miamisburg City Schools, and the Miamisburg Police uh, Department for their support of the program, uh, because without it, today would not be possible. I'd also like to thank all the parents and relatives that were able to join us today. I had a real fun time working with this group this year. It's a great bunch of kids, and I hope they had as much good time as I did. Um, I'd also like to thank the fourth graders who came today. I look forward to seeing you next year in D.A.R.E. class. Uh, some of the topics we covered uh, were the dangers of alcohol and tobacco. We talked about making good decisions and how to resist peer pressure. We talked about how to be safe with over-the-counter prescription drugs. And we talked about bullying and how to be a good citizen. The goal of this program is for you guys to use this information as you grow older and you encounter some difficult situations. We do have some guests that have joined us today to congratulate you on your accomplishments. From the city of Miamisburg, we have your mayor, Michelle Collins. We have Vice Mayor Jeff Nestor. From City Council, we have Council Member John Stalter. From the Minesburg City Schools, we have your Superintendent, Dr. Laura Blessing. From the Minesburg Municipal Court, we have your Judge, Elise Reddick. From the Minesburg Police Department, we have the Chief of Police, John Sedlak. And of course, you all know your principal, Mrs. Kelly. A few of our guests would like to say a few words, and we'll begin with Mayor Collins. Good afternoon, fifth graders. How are you? Good. Thank you for inviting us and welcoming us to your school today. You were introduced to Vice Mayor Jeff Nestor and to Councilperson John Stalder, and we come to the D.A.R.E. program to congratulate you and tell you how proud we are of you for the lessons that you've learned through D.A.R.E., and we're confident that as a city, as city leaders, that you're gonna take these lessons into the future, wherever you go, and make Miamisburg proud um, that we offer you this program. Officer Doug is believing in you as are your parents and all the staff at, at the school. So know that your civic leaders are there for you. If you ever need to reach out to us, we're available. Email is the best way to get us. Have a great summer. And again, know how proud of you that, each, uh, that we are of you guys at the city. Thanks again. Next, we have Dr. Blessing. Good afternoon. How's everyone? Good. So, how many more weeks of school do we have left? Yeah. <laughs> four days. Just four days. That's fantastic. So, um, I know that Officer Sherritt has worked with all of you on um, all of these important topics, and I know that he also has talked about the HELP Network. So, remember, I was here a few weeks ago for Career Day. You know, you utilize your help network, right? Your families, your teachers, your administrators. Mayor Collins talked about how you could reach out to her. I know you're about to get ready for middle school, but in just seven short years, you'll be the class of 2030 graduating from high school. So don't forget about your help network and make those um, connections and continue to use them because I think that's part of the DARE decision-making model that you've learned as well. So on behalf of the Board of Education and myself, I congratulate you all, and I want you to have a wonderful summer. Thank you. Next, we have Judge Reddick. Hello. I already know all of you are doing good, so I'm going to just first of all thank the school for having me thank officer Sherritts for educating each of you and also thank the many many parents and relatives that have come to your graduation i cannot stress enough how important it is to have support systems in your life just the fact that they are present they are here speaks volumes and will continue to speak volumes throughout your life in my experience through the Miamisburg court, 
I want to touch on a few other topics. I know they've been covered, and I will keep it as brief as possible, knowing you have other speakers and you want to be done with your school day. You only have four days left. But I think it's important to know that moving forward as you enter middle school, DARE has taught you about the decisions that you will make and how to say no. But you also need to be able to help and be there for your classmates, your friends, even just your acquaintances. And one of the things that I wanna stress is if you see somebody going down a path that DARE has taught you is the wrong one, is the bad path, you need to have the courage to either tell Officer Sheritz, somebody in your support system that you're worried about your friend or your classmate, or if you're in, throughout middle school and high school, you're in the basement, it's night, it's in the dark, and you see somebody going down the path, maybe ask for a moment and say, I'm really worried that this is the wrong path. Have the courage to say no in the dark of night when you're, you're there. And maybe you don't have a lot of people there. Maybe your support system isn't next to you helping guide you. Hopefully, and I, I believe that DARE has given you the founding footsteps to being, being able to do that, okay? And I wanna stress, and I know Officer Sherrod's mentioned it. We talked about alcohol and cigarettes, drugs, and I'm not just talking about marijuana, I'm talking about heroin, I'm talking about bad drugs that are, we have a great community, Mayor Collins is right, our community is great and Miamisburg is fantastic, you're in a wonderful school, but know that you can say no, okay? Even if it's just a vape, I can say that I, I am pretty confident that every heroin addict that has appeared before me probably also vapes, okay? So if you don't ever take that first vape or take that first cigarette and you say no that first time, you're probably 99% unlikely to then take that extra drug or take that extra thing. Because if you say no to one thing, they're probably not gonna offer you the other, okay? So that's my serious note. On my lighter note, are you all looking forward to summer and biking, swimming, enjoying the parks? Yes, yes. Okay. So congratulations. I can say your teachers are proud of you, your parents are proud of you, and enjoy middle school. Okay. Thank you. Next we have Chief Sedlak. Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, parents. It's really my pleasure to join you here today. I will say, though, at the start, I, I got to tell you, I'm a little bit dismayed because I heard the question, how many more days of school? And I heard the answer, four. Well, I came today playing for, with a five-day lesson. So I guess we'll do the democratic process here. All those who want to stay an extra day and do the five-day lesson plan with me, raise your hand. Wow. Well, maybe I'll have Officer Doug do that one. But one of us could be here. And all those who don't want to start vacation in four days, raise your hand. Uh, Okay, okay, four days wins. Okay, so then I'm going to keep it short. I just want to ask you, how, how many people enjoyed your D.A.R.E. classes? That's a lot. Well, I expected to see that. You know why? Because I've heard Officer Doug talk about how much he enjoys teaching you guys and being with you guys. He really, truly loves it. And it's through that love 
that he imparts the best wisdom he's able to do and we're able to present to you to keep you safe. That's what it's all about. And you've done a great job and your parents have done a great job and your teachers and everybody else who's in your orbit at keeping you safe at this point. But as you get older, you get a little bit further away from the nest, you're on your own a little bit more. And that, it could be this summer for some, it could be maybe a couple summers from now or a winter from now. The point is, when it happens, that's when these lessons will apply. You have the information, I know we're gonna hear speeches, and I know you all understand the tools you were given. The only thing that remains is when the time comes, and it will for every one of us, that you pull out the tools from the toolkit and you apply them then, because that's how this information you received will be keeping you safe this summer and for years beyond. So with that, like others have said, enjoy your summer vacation, stay healthy, and uh, We'll see you next year. One of the last things the students do in DARE class is uh, they write a DARE report. Not only do they write the report, uh, but they have to present to their classmates. Uh, we selected a few to be shared today, and we'll begin with Casey Mittendorf. Did you know over 480,000 Americans die from tobacco-related causes each year? DARE stands for Drug Abuse Resistance Education. DARE is a drug abuse prevention program designed to equip elementary, middle, and high school with knowledge about drug abuse. Medicine is a drug, but if you take too much, it can really affect your health. The reason alcohol is dangerous is because alcohol goes into your bloodstream and it can damage or affect every organ in your body. In the US, it is illegal to sell alcohol to anyone under the age of 21 years old or older. Drinking alcohol or smoking is illegal in the US. Whoever is selling it to you will check your ID and, may, and they will not sell it to you if you're younger than 21. Mixing alcohol and medicine is very dangerous. 88,000 Americans die from alcohol each year. Did you know cigarettes contain nicotine? Nicotine is a powerfully addictive su substance. There are about 5.9 million Americans between the ages of 12 and 20, and 15% of those Americans drink alcohol. That is 885,000 Americans. There is an estimate of about 2.3 billion people who drink alcohol in the world. Alcohol affects loss of coordination, poor judgment, memory loss, loss of self-control, and slow reflexes. These side effects will go away, but it can take 24 hours or longer for the side effects to go away. It can take two weeks completely to get back to normal. The reason you have to be 21 or older is because as a teenager you were still growing, so it, it will affect them more than adults. There are more than 200 harmful chemicals in cigarette smoke. Smoking can cause yellow teeth, bad breath, dry skin, and wrinkles. Did you know there are over 45,000 deaths per year because of secondhand smoking? Alcohol slows down the brain and body. As you can see, alcohol and tobacco related products are really dangerous and should never be used by anyone under 21. Next, we have Peyton Fisher. Have you ever, have you ever seen, or even 
said no to drugs or alcohol or tobacco? Well, if you have to, I have been learning about with my DARE officer about how is it good to say no in that situation. I also learned that smoking gives you bad birth. Another thing is and that any drug can kill you. One thing I learned in there was never to drink beer because it has alcohol. Alcohol makes you me have memory loss, slow, ref so slow reflexes, and a lot more. I have also learned that tobacco is not any better than alcohol. Tobacco has nicotine, which is addictive, which leads you slowly dying because you have smoked too much. I have also learned that vaping is no better than smoking or drinking. One other thing I learned is that where you, there is a wall where you cannot drink or smoke under 21. Another thing is I learned that over the counter medicine can also hurt you if you take too much. One way I have used my dare situation method is when my brother and sister got in a fight. I told my mom because I assessed the situation and I thought it was the right choice to tell my mom because she solved it. The way I plan to use my dare method when is when I am in high school, if somebody asks me to drink beer, I will say no and walk away. Another way I plan to use it plan is if anybody asks me to smoke, I will say no and then bring up another subject. One thing is to never use bad drugs. That is how I will use my dare method. One thing I learned about medicine is you, you should never use expired medicine. You should always check the doc, with the doctor before you take medicine. If, if you get a prescription medicine in the mail, check if it is yours. You should always take the right amount of medicine. That is, the last thing is to check the ingredients and just in case you are allergic to medicine. In conclusion, I have had a lot of fun in there. I, have, I learned a lot of important information. I also learned how to stay safe. It was a lot of fun learning with my dad. Next, we have Howell Hussein. During my dare classes, I have learned that more than 88,000 people die of alcohol every year in the U.S. And more than 400,000 people die of tobacco-related deaths every year. In this report, I will tell you what dare taught me, how I'll use what dare taught me, and more. Most people don't just get into alcohol or tobacco. It usually starts by peer pressure. Peer pressure means when your friends make you do something or force you to. There are many side effects to smoking and drinking alcohol. Some side effects of drinking alcohol are loss of coordination, poor judgment, memory loss, loss of self-control, and more. Alcohol also weakens your heart muscle and reduces the amount of blood pumped to and from your heart. Drinking too much alcohol can slow down your body and lead to a coma and death. Alcohol can affect every single organ in your body. Did you know that smoking is the leading preventable cause of death in the U.S.? Meaning you can stop it by not smoking. There are many side effects of smoking. Smoking can cause heart disease and lung cancer. It can also make your teeth yellow, cause bad breath, dry your skin, and cause wrinkles. There are more than 200 known harmful chemicals in cigarette smoke, meaning when you are smoking, you are not only hurting yourself but many other people because the smoke that comes out has a lot of chemicals, killing more than 45,000 people a year. Drinking and smoking are very bad things that can lead to death. An easy way to avoid them is to never get into them because once you get into them, it will be very hard for you to stop. You will get addicted to smoking or drinking. You might start to have some once a year, then once a month, then once a week. Next thing you know, you're an alcoholic. Same with cigarettes, you have a few, then get addicted, and it will be extremely hard for you to stop, which is why I pledge to never ever smoke, drink, or do drugs. Think of it like this, you get a sample of ice cream, and now that you got a little taste of it, you want more. Of course, ice cream is definitely not as bad as alcohol or, or smoking, but it's just an example. One of the things that Officer Doug has taught me was to stay away from places where you know people smoke, drink, or use drugs. Usually hang out with non-users. He also taught me that in your lifetime, people would most likely ask you, to, ask you to smoke or drink. You just have to be strong enough to say no. You could also change the subject. These are some of the ways that I would use what D.A.R.E. taught me in my life. D.A.R.E. has been an amazing experience for me. It taught me how to stay safe and use medicine correctly. It also taught me to handle situations such as being asked to smoke, drink, or eat drugs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Congratulations. Next, we have Mariana Cardenas. Do you know what dare is? My name is Mariana Cardenas, and dare is where you learn to be responsible for yourself and cautious of your surroundings. Dare. Dare stands for define, assess, respond, and evaluate. One thing I learned in dare is cigarettes contain nicotine. Nicotine is a powerful substance that can harm your body and can hurt your lungs. I also learned information about alcohol. Some effects of drinking too much alcohol can be loss of coordination, slow reflexes, memory loss, and poor judgment. Some facts about tobacco is that smoking it can cause heart disease, disease which can lead to death, just like any other cigarette. Also, did you know that in the United States it is illegal to sell tobacco to anyone under the age of 21? If you have too much alcohol, it can lead to a coma or death. Alcohol can go to the bloodstream and can damage every organ in your body. The next thing I will be talking about is bullying. Bullying is where someone is teasing you or another kid. If it's happening to you, tell an adult. If you see it happening to someone else, tell an adult or confront the bully or tell him to stop. Bullying someone can be very hurtful because you never know what they are going through. Some feelings you can feel when you're getting bullied or, or feeling stressed are mad, sad, or crying. Another thing I'm going to be talking about is medications. Medications can be found in pills, liquids, and powders. You should never share medication with anyone else if it's prescribed for yourself. Medication can sometimes make you feel drowsy, dizzy, sick, or irritable. You should not use any medication after the night of a heart surgery. Now I'm going to be talking about staying safe. Staying safe is very important. For example, if you're at a park and two random girls come up to you and say, I have beer, want some? Ignore the question walk, and walk away. If they come up to you and say, come on, trust them, it's not that bad, you say, no, I'm good. If they still have not walked away, run to your nearest trusted adult or parent and tell them what happened. You should also stay safe by always being by your parent or guardian so you stay safe and don't get hurt and always have help if you need it. And that's why I promise to never do drugs, never bully on anyone, Stay safe and follow safe directions. Next, we have Alex Powell. DARE is an educational program you will take in fifth grade. DARE is run by a police officer. In my case, he is Officer Doug. DARE is an acronym for Drug Abuse Resistance Education. This is an this essay is a rundown of what happens in D.A.R.E. class in fifth grade, but this is only the most important topics. One important topic that is a huge part of D.A.R.E. is making good decisions. A huge way of making good informed decisions is using the D.A.R.E. decision making model. Define, assess, respond, evaluate. Also, you should observe your situation. If it is a bad decision, you probably shouldn't take it. You should always choose the best decision, decision in your situation because other bad decisions may have bad consequences. Second important topic in D.A.R.E. is staying away from drugs and alcohol. D.A.R.E. wants you to stay away from drugs and alcohol because they are dangerous. D.A.R.E. also wants you to stay away from anything illegal such as alcohol and tobacco. Tobacco is dangerous because it affects the way the body and mind work, which can make you, which can make, you make bad decisions and not think straight. Alcohol is dangerous for the same reasons. D.A.R.E. is important if you want to stay safe and out of trouble. Final topic is bullying. How to avoid bullying, how to report bullying, and more. And there, your officer will tell you how to deal with bullying and what to do if it's happening to you. You will also learn how to deal with bullying and how to report bullying if you see it. Also in DARE, you will go over being safe with over-counter, over-the-counter, and prescription medicines. So DARE is an important part of staying safe. From my personal experience, I use the DARE decision-making model on several occasions. I'll keep using things I learned from D.A.R.E. to stay safe and be, and be responsible while making decisions. Overall, D.A.R.E. is a fun educational thing that I've enjoyed. And we have Evie Goodwin. What would you do if someone approached you and offered you a cigarette? In their class, we learned what to do in situations like that. We also learned way more in addition. 
In the next few paragraphs, I'll tell you more things that I've learned in their class. There are more than 200 known harmful chemicals in cigarette smoke. Cigarettes contain nicotine. Nicotine is a powerful substance that causes addiction. People who smoke have more colds and upper respiratory problems. Smoking also causes people to have yellow teeth and bad breath. Now let's talk about alcohol. There are 88,000 alcohol-related deaths each year. Alcohol slows down the brain and body. Some effects of taking too much alcohol are loss of coordination, poor judgment, memory loss, loss of self-control, and slow reflexes. Alcohol weakens the heart muscle and reduces the amount of blood pumped to and from the heart. Too much alcohol can slow down the body and lead to a coma or death. Alcohol also goes directly into the bloodstream and can damage every organ in your body. In the next paragraph, I'll tell you some of the things I've learned to relax your mind and body. Let's say that I fell in the hallway and people were laughing at me. I could yell at them or even tear up. Or I could also get up and take deep breaths. In their class, we learned how to calm our mind and bodies down. I will use this information that I've learned in the future to help me not do anything bad that will make the problem worse. When you are in situations like that, some feelings you might feel are embarrassed, annoyed, or even upset. I plan to use the things that I've learned in a good way. I will teach and tell my family about the things I've learned. I will say no to drugs, cigarettes, and anything bad that's related to those. If I'm around bad influence and I want to leave, I will make it an excuse to go somewhere else. I will use what I've learned to make a safe and responsible decision by thinking about who I'm hanging out with, thinking before I do things, and not choosing to do bad stuff. When I'm mad at somebody, I'll take deep breaths and try to calm down. Another thing that I learned is that when you talk to people, you always want to speak confidently. So in the future, I will speak with confidence. In conclusion, drugs and anything related to that are horrible for your body. They can lead to illness or even death if you take too much of it. Even if your best friend is trying to make you do drugs, don't do it. I tremendously appreciate Dare, and I'm so glad that I got to experience it. I, Evelyn Goodman, promise to never do drugs and try to make a safe and responsible All the students did a great job with their reports, and those six are a perfect example of that. Uh, the last group of people I'd like to thank are the ones that make my job as a DARE officer very easy, and that's the staff here at Mound Elementary, and that starts with your principal, Mrs. Keller. And your fifth grade teachers, Mrs. Elson. Mrs. Reed. And Mrs. Royston. It's now time for you guys to receive your certificates, and we'll begin with Mrs. Elson's class. Mrs. Elson's class, would the back row of my class please stand up? And you're going to walk, Jaden. You're going to follow Jaden. Jaden, you're going to walk around the front of the camera. Please be careful of the extension cord there. Jaden Carpenter. <laughs> Mason Coleman. Keegan Dean. Mariah Fields, Annabelle Hill, Autumn Curley, Rachel Manning, Gunnar McCreevy, Luke McKinney, Lillian Miser, Ariel Musgrove, Esther Vincent, Nate Shirker, 
Gideon Ray B. Noah Wagner. Nick Williams. Olivia Williamson. Eli Weinberg. Addison Young. Parker Yarve. Ryder Weil. Here's Freeze. And Miss Evie Goodman. And Hawa Hussain. Congratulations, Mrs. Elsie Class. Next, we have Mrs. Reed's class. Peyton Fisher. Payson Mittendorf. Laney Barnhart. Ryland Beach. Blake Burnside. Savannah Caudill. Callie Downs. Nicholas Drewson. McKenna Fugit. Abigail Goody. Mason Hansen. Uriah Brookshire. Jacob Harrison, Jenna Meddy, Brody Miller, Noah Miracle, Peyton Poyer. Garrett Raby. Brooklyn Rednauer. James Shaw. Claire Welch. Ryan West. And Wolfie Hanshaw. Wolfie. This way, bud. Walk right up through there, buddy. Nice job. And next, we have Miss Roy's in this class. Robbie Anders. Emily Beal. Shelby Boss. Peyton Boddicker. J. 
Jalen Carpenter. Yeah. Bella Collins. Caden yeah. Clemens West. Matthew Derringer, Ross Drusen, Bentley Emmerich, Camilla Hernandez, Bentley Johnson, Autumn Jurich. Cooper Lamb, <laughs> Elena Lavangi, <laughs> Megan Morath, <laughs> Landon Novak, <laughs> Emma Ruthruff, <laughs> James Sanders. Nico Shirker, yeah. Daphne Arbarka, yeah. you, yeah. <laughs> Mariana Cardenas, yeah. and Alex Powell. Yeah. All right, the last thing we'll do as part of our graduation is I'll show you a short little video of classes here at Mountain Elementary. Fifth graders, fifth graders, you guys can come out here and sit on the floor, please.
All right, once again, congratulations. Have a safe and healthy summer, and I'll see you guys next year. Thank you.